friends and welcome to my channel. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. Today we're in my catch-all which is my classic happy planner. We are getting into the week of, this is the last week of July. Not necessarily, it's actually the first part of week of August. So, let's try not to rip any pages this week. So it is the 29th through the 4th. Wow. My goodness, the summer is pretty much over. So this is what I have today. I have my Pastel Tropics, my Student Planner, and my Happy Quotes. So I'll be going out of those. I'm going to just create. I'm going to fast forward. And then um, I may come back and do a voiceover and just kind of let you guys enjoy. Hey, you guys. So I'm going through this Happy Quotes book. Um, it's a new book for me and possibly one of my favorites. And these florals stuck out to me, and I was trying to stay away from the florals, but these florals just kind of stuck out to me, and I just decided to um, add these florals. And I'm going to cut them down. I don't know. I just like for them to kind of be inside of the box. That's just kind of what I like. Um, sometimes I'll leave them on the outside, but I just kind of wanted to um, just have them on the inside of the box. And also... I'm loving this planner because it's more on the neutral side. I really wish the Happy Planner would make just black and white planner like Erin Condren. So I'm just adding it over here, just putting out like the outer side of the box so it makes it look like it's kind of framed a little bit. But for the corners, I pretty much like those to kind of stay in. So again, I'm just taking my slicing tool and just cutting outside of the box. And I'll take the extra piece and I'm going to add it over here into a box on the left side of the page. If I can get it up. <laughs> I was having a little trouble there, as you can see. But yeah, these floors just kind of stood out to me. Um, I think it was the coral color inside of the floor that kind of just spoke to me. And I just wanted to um, use that. And for real, for real, I could have left this spread just like this because it was just perfect. I didn't only use two florals and I didn't have to get a lot. So right now I'm looking for a quote and I decided to use this yellow quote over here across the top of Monday and Tuesday um, just to take a little bit of yellow from the flowers and just not use, what's the word I'm looking for, like the same color. Like I'll use one or two colors sometimes, but I'm trying to change a little thing change things up a little bit and I wanted to just use more than two colors you know so that's what I'm doing I found another quote and that quote is kind of blue it's taking away a little bit of the blue from the uh, florals as well and I ran across this um, I've been wanting to use this really really bad since I got the book <laughs> so um, I just wanted to add that to kind of coincide with the yellow on Monday and Tuesday just to bring a little bit more yellow to the page Yellow is one of my favorite colors. It's not my favorite, favorite. Green is my favorite, but it's in the top five of the colors that I like. When I was in middle school, believe it or not, yellow was my favorite. Then I got into peach around 18, 19, and then I got into green around 25. And then green has just been it for the past 20 years, pretty much. <laughs> So here, I'm just going through this book here looking for, um, this is a student planner book. And I thought there were some boxes in there that would, you know, coincide with the colors that I was using. So I decided to whip out my um, colorful boxes and use that gold since there was gold inside of the flowers or more like a rose gold. But since the gold was there, um, I decided to use it. I like the boxes, but both of them there. But then I realized that one of them was crooked. So I was going to put it back, but then I said, you know... No, I think I'm just going to move it. I think I'm doing too much with this um, section. And I didn't want to put it on the other side. It just wouldn't look right. So I decided to move it over. And with that frame, I decided to frame that box. And I thought that looked really nice there. And so that's where it ended up staying. So still going through colorful boxes, just kind of looking for another color besides the gold um, boxes so that I could add. And then I found this coral. And I was like, oh, my God, it's like perfect. It matches these um, 
flowers. So they had like a pink, but that it's like an orangey coral. So it went perfect with the flowers that I had. So now I'm back in the um, Happy Quotes and I find this sticker and I'm like, wow, that's nice. And I said, well, I want to layer it. So I believe I eventually pull it up and layer it or I cut it out. <laughs> so I cut it out. But I wanted to look like it was behind the um, floral. So once I put the flower, the excess there, I realized that I wanted it to just basically kind of go into an angle. But once I created that angle, I knew I had to pretty much do an angle on the other side just to kind of balance the two pages out. So I started looking for more florals to add to that. And then I totally forgot about my fun florals for a moment, but I do whip them out as you can see. So I'm starting to look and I'm trying to find flowers that florals that match that. But I know that I just didn't look deep enough in the book, but it worked, you know. So I'm liking that. I want to do a little layering with the fl florals just to make it look a little more um, together and look like it's a bunch kind of. So then I pull out these florals and they're great for like probably headers or whatever. And I really didn't care for it, but I left it there because I knew that I would um, put add something over top of it and that it would probably camouflage that it wasn't like the rest of the florals. So I keep digging and digging and then I was like, oh, there's my florals with the gold and the rose gold foil in it. Like if I just kept looking through the book, I would have saw them and I wouldn't have to waste a sticker. And I just didn't want to pull that sticker up because you all know how to do sometimes. You pull it up and it is gone. Your page is just ripped. So I'm just looking for some more of those florals. And then um, now I'm starting to see more and more different type of florals that I could have used and I see my banana leaves that I could have used a while ago so I highly encourage and here are the flowers with the um gold in it or the rose gold in it so I kind of do a little bit of layering I'm a little bit out of the shot but I'm doing a little bit of layering so that it you know kind of pops through the ones that I really didn't care for but I highly encourage that you study your books or you know just kind of know what's in your books because I made a mistake today by not knowing really what's in what. I knew it was there, but I just, uh, I guess I was unsure. So, again, just shop, you know, just shop your stash, look and see what you have, and just kind of get familiar with your books because I thought I was familiar enough to know that the student planner had some boxes that would match, but they didn't. So, I've probably seen them somewhere, but yeah. So, that's that. And again, just still looking for more florals to just kind of dangle. I'm still looking for a box here in the student planner because I'm going to myself. I know there's a box in here to match <laughs> and it wasn't. So um, I believe I go back into the colorful boxes and find a box for that. So, yeah, so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me some comment. Um, some feedback, excuse me, in the comment section and let me know how you like this. Did I change my style up a little bit? I think I did. I'm trying hard. So leave me some feedback in the comment section and I'll talk to you all soon. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. This is the a turnout of this spread. I like it. Um, I like it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just... Okay, I'm just, like, lost for words because I'm looking at it like, am I forgetting something? No, I'm not forgetting anything. But here, I didn't dig deep enough into my florals book to get the little... Um, rose gold flowers so I stuck that there so I tried to kind of go over it because I decided to make it look like you know to drape so basically I used my colorful boxes I used happy quotes and fun florals 
I haven't used more than one sticker book in quite some time, but I remembered the florals, seeing these florals in the floral books, but I basically got the first florals out of the Happy Quotes. So yeah, that's this spread. And oh, I also added the orange from the flowers here just to put it, but I wanted to leave myself enough room to write in things that I need to do. Um, like on Monday, Tuesday, again, functionable, and this is basically my catch-all, so I have room to still do things and still have boxes, functionality, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me zoom out just a little bit, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you all so much for watching, if you're new to my channel, you enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button, also hit that notification bell, so that you can come back and get more uh, videos like this, plus some, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!